I'm sure you all know, this past year has been excruciatingly difficult for me, as well as for my entire family and Nikki's closest friends. I cannot even begin to describe the unsurmountable amount of pain we have endured and continue to suffer from the unexpected loss of her. Nikki was not only my daughter, but she was my best friend, my confidant, motivator, travel companion, wellness coach, and an integral part of my hopes and dreams for the future. Her life was cut short, senselessly, resulting in many unfinished plans. For instance, Ricky never even got the opportunity to purchase her own vehicle. She talked for years about wanting to get a new black Jeep Wrangler. She made the decision to continue driving the Kia Sportage we gave her for commuting to college. That's allowing her to save for and purchase her brand new home. She loved to travel and often talked about wanting to go to Hawaii and even mentioned she would like to get married there one day to which I jokingly would respond, send me the video, because she knew how petrified I was at flying. <laughs> Ricky was also planning on being a mother someday and had even selected the names Blakely, Bryson, Mason, and Brianna for her future children. Most recently before her death, she was making plans to change her career back to the medical field and was in talks with Eastern Florida State College about returning to complete the RN program. I not only mourn the loss of my daughter, I mourn all the things she did not get to finish as well as the things that were taken from me such as watching her dad walk her down the aisle, becoming a grandmother and holding her babies in my arms, and watching her proudly sitting behind the wheel of that new Jeep Wrangler. Ricky was a kind, gentle soul who had a passion for volunteering, along with inspiring and motivating others to reach their highest potential. She took great care of her body, both spiritually and physically and quite often shared nutrition and fitness tips with others, solicited or not, because she cared about them. Ricky was a believer in Christ and was deepening her relationship and increasing her faith through family Bible studies, attending e-groups, and inviting others to join her at church. As evidenced by this, I can take comfort believing she is now in heaven. Shortly before she was killed, while preparing for the upcoming changes to her career, she wrote me a short letter thanking me for loving her and doing so much for her that closed with the following. I have a tough road ahead of me, but I feel comforted knowing I have you and Jesus by my side to do this in faith. For the first few months following her passing, I was in a state of shock and don't recall a lot of things from that period. I was completely numb and mentally unable to properly thank the many who sent cards, flowers, meals, monetary donations, and remembrance gifts. I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you, as all your sentiments were very comforting and greatly appreciated. Lastly, if just one thing can be taken away from what happened to both Ricky and Megan, I beg you to please not drink and drive. Go with the designated driver, phone a friend, or call an Uber. Let's do our due diligence and prevent another parent from needlessly losing a child.